here with Connor Halpenny. Connor, um, Nace probably would have expected to win this, having taken the points away to Banbridge back in November, but still had to go and do it. Your thoughts on the match? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Banbridge really, really did stick it to us. Uh, you know, they they're in a real kind of relegation battle down the bottom, so uh, it was kind of a you know a much more tougher kind of game for them as they needed to win but yeah it was good to good to get through it anyway so happy with the win so good and it was difficult conditions here today Connor like there was a very strong wind there yeah. uh, Nace had that in the first half and managed to take advantage with all had all the pressure on Banbridge and scored four tries yeah uh, but they did as you say put it back up to you in the second half oh absolutely I mean like it was it was really hard to exit down from that bottom right corner there uh, usually like every time you know inside the 22 it would be a box kick uh, but it was it was challenging you know having to play it out and it felt a bit weird actually not kicking inside your 22 but uh, definitely fair play to the lads especially the forwards you know they really did, did dig deep uh, under big kind of pressure uh, moments and we, we got through it and fair play to Ozzy there who, uh, who got put into 10 uh, he isn't usually 10 there and uh, he really did run the ship at 10 so fair play to Ozzy as well really good experience for him and we're heading into the last third of the season now Connor. Yeah. Um, Nace uh, maintaining their place, third or fourth yeah, place after uh, this win. Hopefully home semi-final anyway. Yeah. yeah, so we have a couple of big matches coming up now against Wesley and Highfield. Yeah. Um, so it was very important to get a win here today. Oh, absolutely. I mean, like playing against Wesley up in Donnybrook next week, that's going to be a really challenging factor. Uh, probably the conditions and the pitch are really going to suit us, playing on that nice, you know, 4G uh, surface so we can really speed that ball up and get a nice quick pace going. And uh, yeah, and then Highfield then are really going to bring it to us when they come down here in uh, I think it's the first of uh, yeah late March or the first of April. So yeah, good. And finally, Connor, you're an Eatstown man like myself. Yeah, um, yeah. and you've played right up through the ranks here. So it must be great to be part of this team. Yeah, I mean, like I started. I remember. Uh, the first day I came down here, I think it was under sevens. My dad brought me down. I, I hated it there. Um, uh, I really did, you know. But then uh, at, at the start, but then obviously I really did grow grow into it. Like as as the as the kind of the days went on, and I trained more, and uh, it's become like my biggest hobby, hobby rugby. So and to be honest, I don't know where I'd be without it. So absolutely, yeah. Well, that's great. Listen, well done, Connor, and best luck with the rest of the season. Thanks very much, Richie. Soon.